people that are already going to be there are going to be there. They yeah. get fireworks. That's a bonus as far as they're concerned because they both win. So you don't you don't think there. that they're going to bring back fireworks? I think they will. I just I'm curious if the fourth will be the thing. It's Welcome, Disney fans, to another episode of the Notcast presented by NotClub33.com. This week, we're talking about what you can expect from Walt Disney World going forward in 2021. My name is Steve Rhodes, and I'm with Pat Neistat this week. What's up? Becky Wells is here. Hello. And as always, at the bottom of your screen, it's the Disney cynic, Bobby Burchins. Big Pippin, spending G's. You know me. <laughs> the Jay Z featuring UG, UGK. That's uh, is that yeah? That's that's ninety. Nope. That, that was still. That was like ninety eight or something. Gotta be nice. Right, second yeah, album I, in it. Mm. Uh, no third. That, third. We'll we'll let that we'll let that one go through. That's in the nineties. So you're you're on you're on genre. You're on brand there. That's, that's all I'm going for <laughs> at this point. Nailed it's it. a tough lane to keep carving, by the way. Hey man, uh, you can just use Google. Like it, Google's yep, your friend. Yeah, where's your hood at? Even if you don't even, even if you never heard the song, you could basically just spit it out, and then we have to try to figure out like what it was. I do so sound guys, white uh, as hell doing it anyway. Might as well. Yeah, so, you know that may be a fact. So what? <laughs> it is. Guys, this it just is. recently uh, Disney made some updates to its uh, pandemic protocols. Uh, mass mandates are getting rolled back. Um, we've seen some fireworks testing, and Disney has announced that they're going to be increasing capacity, um, kind of on a ramp scale, just as I, probably as they get staff. Who knows? Um, but things are changing at Walt Disney World. This episode's about what folks can expect this summer and going forward for 2021 at Walt Disney World. Um, Bobby, let's start with you. You're the local. Um, there are some mask policies in place in Florida specifically. Uh, what does that? How is that going to affect Disney going forward uh, for the Walt Disney World property? Yeah, so I, I can't believe that I feel like a, an actual news reporter here. This is a very <laughs> awkward position you've put me in. But well, no, you didn't uh, pause I'm, for three seconds before. I oh, yeah, Thanks, man. Wait. wait. Like, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Um, Perfect. <laughs> Where's so, he going to trident? Brick killed a guy. Did you throw a trident? Yeah, there were horses and a man on fire, and I killed a guy with a trident. <laughs> <laughs> so, nice. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, in all seriousness, uh, Governor Ron DeSantis uh, has basically declared by executive uh, order uh, statewide that uh, there is no longer going to be any sort of governmental mask mandates. Uh, moving forward as of July 1st, 2021, which, uh, you know, previously um, he had kind of been letting the state mask mandates be a little bit lax so that the local uh, governments could be a little bit stronger where it needed to be, like in places like Miami or Orlando, Tampa, where, wherever, you know, the, the virus was. Now that's not the case. Uh, he's basically said that July 1st, no government can force a ma can enforce a mask mandate. So at the very least, we're looking at July 1st being the, the earliest opportunity for Disney to, to be the ones to, to drop uh, masks completely. And I'm sure that they're going to take the next few weeks here over the, the first part of the summer to kind of test that to, to a degree with no requirements for common areas outside uh, and but you know still having to force the the mask on when you're in the queue or throughout the attraction, uh, you know, and see if that actually affects any of the the numbers or the testings or anything like that. I'm sure if there's some sort of outbreak, it'll it'll hit the news because everybody's kind of gunning for Disney uh, down here, uh, you know, journalistically speaking. Sure. So, um, you know, at the same time. I, I can tell you that ever since DeSantis made that that announcement, uh, you know, from a uh, from just a local perspective, everybody has kind of just said screw it with the masks. Uh, you know, yeah. it used to be that the like they wouldn't let you into the to the Wawa if you didn't have a mask on. Now, like you know, it, 
if you forgot, eh, you're in here for five minutes, whatever, just go, just just get your Red Bull, it's fine, you know, and I, I feel like that's kind of a good thing uh, for, for the state uh, in, anyway, but Disney's going to follow that policy as strictly as it need or it feels like it needs to, uh, just for pub- publicity and, you know, public relations uh, reasons. And so, I, I kind of think mid July is probably when you'll you'll actually see them drop the, okay. the whole policy. I was going to ask uh, you if so I is that to keep it through the holiday. Yeah, go ahead, Pat. Yeah, is that that that's Orange County's policy right now? Yeah, Orange County still enfor- is technically enforces it that you're supposed to wear a mask indoors uh, and, at all times. Okay. Well, you know, but like Disney can still continue to enforce yeah, its own private. policy. Correct. Right. Private businesses can, I mean, cannot be uh, told that they can't enforce a mask mandate. I'll, I'll so, be shocked if it lasts longer than a month. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking two July weeks. I think they want. I two mean, weeks I, in data. two weeks, you're not going to see anybody wearing masks unless, unless they, 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 that's what they want to do. My guess well, would the, be. That's I what think I think. The, it, my to guess would be test figure out what day Universal is going to do it, and then a week after that is when Disney will do it. Uh, seriously, it's, it's coming right. soon. About the Fourth of July honest. holiday week, it's coming soon. The world changed like that. It soon. went from yeah. it went from you you got to wear it. It's you got to wear it in restaurants. Blah 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 blah. CDC said yeah, got to wear it. Got to wear it. And then all said nope, don't got to wear it. So yeah, no. I think yeah. it's gonna come fast and furious. Yeah, yeah it's, it's I, gonna be. I, I give it two I weeks after the deadline, to be honest with you, just to get through the holiday mm-hmm. and you know make sure that the, the some of the 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 boisterous non uh, 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 pro vaccine or the anti vaccination uh, <laughs> folks, um, you know, who will inevitably come through. Let them it's come a through. Small group and, of people, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, still, so small you're assuming it's big after, enough that you're assuming it could be a problem after the holiday, after July fourth, yeah. that. It'll get relaxed. Uh, I yeah, can agree. That's my. That's just my opinion. It's possible. That tracks. Yeah. Yeah. So well, so some other things that we've noticed. Uh, fireworks have been testing in Epcot, specifically uh, the old fi- Well, not the old fireworks show. The new old fireworks show, not the yeah. harmonious that we're supposed to be getting with the big barges, but the one that replaced Illuminations, whatever the hell that's called. Uh, like the Epcot really Forever for minutes. now or whatever. Yeah, Epcot Forever. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that one has been tested. Uh, we've been seeing that in oh. the news is being tested at night. Oh, uh, yeah. fireworks, Pat. I mean, what do you, I mean? What are you seeing from this? Like, I I guarantee you'll have fireworks on the fourth, and you'll probably see them at Magic Kingdom before then. I think uh, it's just part of the guest experience. I mean, they're trying to bring back. If they're raising capacity then they're going to have to start bringing back different guest experiences that, that haven't been there, you know, so. And Fireworks is a big one, I think. Well, what so. do you, I mean, here, here's my whole take on it. Like, they've ha- done without these things for, you know, over a year now. Uh, well, well, part of it was because they were closed. But, like, for a year's time, <laughs> they haven't launched Fireworks. Um, mm-hmm. Can they get away with just not doing them? Like, I at, don't think so. I don't think they want to. Maybe at, like, a Hollywood oh, Studios? Or you know, that's possible. Yeah, that's sure they didn't want to, but they made it through New Year's Eve without them. I think they're gonna Epcot and Magic Kingdom are definitely gonna have some type of show. It just I'm I'm just thinking going forward, like you just won't because you know Universal's gonna have it. Yeah, Yeah. sure, but it's not making Disney any money per se. It's one of those guest experiences that's sure you know, but that's why people keep coming back. Sure. Yeah, but it's also already like you I have mean, capacity, capacity at thirty five percent. You're you're looking at diehards that are going mainly. Well, I mean, yeah, it's people. past that now, but yeah, it's past that now, and like everything, they opened a little more availability in park passes and stuff, but it's still you can't find a reservation. Well, that's I'm just how it's, it's, it's going to be. It's already like people that are already going to be there are going to be there. They yeah. get fireworks. That's a bonus as far as they're concerned because they booked when. So you don't you don't think that they're going to bring back fireworks? I think they will. I just, I'm curious if the fourth will be the thing, especially with the masks and, you know, keeping. Uh, I think it is. The I posted on, on our Not Club 30. You go ahead, Beck. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, the nondescript, uh, like distancing. Like, there's the number six on the image, but the wording is gone. And it's That's just all like going distance. Away. Right. It's rapidly changing. Much to my chagrin. And so, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But, like, uh, I mean, they changed six feet a long time ago in the schools to three feet, you know. Right. 
Well, that was the CDC. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but so, but that's, and that's what Disney it, goes like, by. Disney pauses and like quietly changes things. Obviously, it's noticed, but. If they're going to be a few weeks behind, you know, even the July 1st, whatever, then, like, what happens on the 4th? I'm, I'll am i be interested to find out. I'm not going to be there, but that would be interesting. I agree with Pat. That I, I think, you know, Epcot is probably a yeah, lock. That's, Magic that's Kingdom is a chance, lock, lock, lock. There will be fireworks. There will be fireworks over Magic Kingdom on July 4th. I literally posted that from the Not Club 33 Twitter account a while back. Um, mm-hmm. I've said it here on the Notcast before. I've said it in passing with you know people in my DMs and whatnot asking me about Disney stuff. July 4th, there's going to be fireworks over the Magic Kingdom. What capacity and all that stuff, I don't know the answer to. But there's no damn way that Disney is not going to shoot fireworks over that castle on July the 4th. Uh, yeah. It's going to happen. They're bursting. My question is... Will Hollywood Studios, by the end of this year, be doing daily fireworks shows again? And I just don't. I think don't know. So. I, I don't know. I, I don't think they, they need, need to come to. up with something better, anyways. <laughs> yeah. I think that yes, they will, and here's the reason why: because they always have that stupid jingle bell, jingle bam thing uh, that that they do at the end of the year. Uh, so that technically yeah. counts as a daily occurrence, and so yeah, I would say that by December mm-hmm. they'll they'll have. Their, their little holiday show. By December, yeah, I think everything will be... Oh, Just I do the projection mapping on the Tower of Terror and call it good and save some money. I guess so. I think they should do... Well, that eliminates so the BAM can... part, Steve. It's just a jingle bell. I think bell they should... Uh, I think they should take, <laughs> no like, some drones like they had done in the past when they opened yeah. Galaxy's Edge and do some, like, Star Wars, like, really cool stuff with that and this over uh, Galaxy's Edge. I think that would be... That'd be way like, better. Go that, works there. that won't be coming it this year. It fits better. But, yeah. but. No, it wouldn't be, but I, 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 I think they should wait and do something like big. A, like a, that. So a lot, I mean, a lot of this is going to hinge on cast members returning to work. Um, and, and Becky, you, you know, on the low, you talk to cast members quite often, and you know some people that you get a little bit of hearsay through. College program yeah. cast members, what are you hearing out there about um, cast members coming back to work and, and how this yeah. is going to affect Disney's operation plan. Yeah, Santa's sack finally came through. We're getting some cast members back. <laughs> That's what she uh, said. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, yeah, the college program is taking uh, applications again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hashtag callback, guys. Nice. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, we've called that uh, yeah, one back. Yeah, college quite a program. Few they're taking more applications again. Um, that's been going for a few weeks now, and for the last month or month and a half, they've been heavily calling back cast members um, in many capacities. I think some of them are still getting put in totally different spots than they were before, and that takes some extra training. Um, and then with different things, they're kind of making everybody sort of go through the beginning of training again. Which is not a terrible thing, uh, no. especially when they keep changing protocols. They got to be a little more nimble in that respect. Right. But you know that training is not super quick in all the roles. So I think give a few more weeks, and we should start to see a hell of a lot more cast members back, which is amazing. There's more restaurants opening every week. There's you know uh, more a couple jobs more shows people. have come back, and yeah, yeah. and it's great. so that kind of leads to the question at this point uh, and if I may hijack a, a little bit of a hosting question uh, so to speak when do you guys think that it will actually feel like it used to again uh, at that point it depends because on what you I, mean by that so like 2019 before the pandemic when do you think guys think you'll feel year. like like that like crowds or interactions or what do you probably think? be the next time one of us goes maybe I'm going in September. Bobby will probably beat us there. Yeah, I'm going to beat all of you tomorrow. I'm going to beat all of you guys there, but yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. save that for another episode. Again, I can go uh, tomorrow. I'm just like anyway. <laughs> uh, the, so the reason why I asked that question though is because I think that like all three of these topics that we've talked about are like integral to to getting back to that normalized experience, and I think that you can't have one without the other. Particularly like the cast members uh, and the, specifically the college program coming back. Like yeah. you've got to have like all of the 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 A ticket and B ticket attractions open to thin out the herd 
for all the moms and uh, Karens out there that like feel like they have to do every attraction and everything like Mama that. Mama and like, Karens that have to do yeah. every. Yeah, there's a like, difference. You just equating. Yeah. Ouch. Like, don't that put hurts. them in the same sense. Becky, like, that's a shot. No, no, no. They're, they're, that's they're, a shot you. There's, that's you know, there's definitely a line that. of delineation. That's, you know. that's a shot at you, okay. Karen well, you did, and yeah, Mom. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Well, okay, but one thing you did mention, Bobby, is <laughs> back to back to 2019 standards. And one thing in 2019 that we had that we don't have now is the Fast Pass. And mm. this is the yeah. thing that is near and dear to my heart. You can go to notclub33.com and see my Fast Pass article, which is Top lengthy. Article. So if you're if you're not <laughs> if you're not already in tune with uh, the Fast Pass, you might want to read the uh, base the 101 version of it first before you get yeah. into my in depth class mm-hmm. on it. But I cannot wait for the Fast Pass to return, but I just don't see how in the hell Disney is going to do this without charging for it. I just think yep. that they see mm. that they still have the fan base there without having the Fast Pass. They see they can do this, and people are still showing up. Why in the hell am I going to, if I'm the business, why in the hell am I going to give you a free Fast Pass when I know you'll pay me money and lots of it on on top of your resort stay on top of your park ticket i think it's going to come back as a paid thing and i think we could see this sometime this year actually i if i if it's i had to, have put, to be this year if right? i had to put a guess on it it's going to be as soon as school starts like it they're going to have that trial run going you know september through before thanksgiving just to get up to speed on redoing the fast pass stuff, and then we're gonna see, you know. I don't know. It's gonna be exact so busy fast pass as soon as mid September yeah. hits, though. That that's uh, soon- that's uh, uh, the point right there is because those lines, just like when I went, and it was only thirty five percent capacity, those lines like through the queues were just like nuts. But if you don't have to social distance, you don't have to. I think worry if you're about more compressed, it won't. Uh, I mean, no, that's a that's moves a fair the point. Whole time though, but it moves. I mean, that's a fair point. That there's if there's not, a, if you can just pancake people in, then maybe you're right. Yeah. There's also and like Bobby a, enjoy, and will enjoy a, that something that didn't get <laughs> yeah. something that didn't get thrown in there was the uh, the 50th anniversary though. So that's I think it I might saying, start like, even sooner than that because of the 50th anniversary because that's what their big target big date is. It's technically the first day of their fiscal new year as well. So October they 1st, I'm yeah. sure want to start. Sure that fiscal year off with a huge number and it wouldn't shock me if that's day one of 100 percent capacity and fast passes rocking and rolling full staff you know everything is open uh for we're sure. at 100 percent. i would bet that we're at 100 percent capacity as soon as they get full staff it doesn't oh, matter yeah. there's no date they have in their head it's just whenever we got enough people right. trained and ready to go they'll be at 100 yeah. percent. they're ramping up to that now <clears throat> I got a I got a good question for you guys. When do you think like uh, Port Orleans and some of these resorts reopen? Cast members, man. August. It's just all about staff. So you're thinking like summertime? You think that? I, I think August. if they can get people back. But I mean, the the mm-hmm. problem is is if you're supplementing that with with the college program, some of the college program students are doing it during the school year and it's part of their curriculum, and others are only doing it summer. So if you're leaning heavily on that, you know, it's kind of a delicate balance of when you're going to get mm-hmm. staff in for because if you're really waiting on those college program kids and you're getting the ones that are only going to be here for the summer, well, you can't open a mm-hmm. freaking resort and then, think, you know, yeah. a month I mean, later. I'm not summer staying there anyway. Go through but. the holiday time frame, I think. <laughs> I think that's part of the I mean, we need Amanda. I don't remember the stipulations, but for I'm what? pretty sure it, it's go a, wake her up. Probably not. Yeah, don't do bad that. idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, but to the yeah, Bobby, pass. go do it. Yeah. Don't go ahead, Becky. <laughs> He's like, Patrick is having quite a day today. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think is. there's a school of thought with the fast passes returning. Like, there's a lot of talk on I don't know social media about. A lot of people like not having the fast passes. They're like, I'd rather wait in line as long as it's continuously moving than have ten fast passes to every one person or whatever. I don't know. I bullshit. I want to game the bullshit. system. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Test too. track. I, w- I sat in line. Test track. It was posted for sixty minutes. I sat in line for ninety minutes because the damn line doesn't move. Like, like, don't tell me the lines. This fantasy island thing well, that people think that lines know, are I moving. Think, they're not moving because they're. But that's also. Well, under a condition of like one single, they 
Here's another uh, good point is that they're not going to be cleaning any of these rides anymore, you know. So <laughs> nothing's going to be stopped. It's just going to go, you know. And not, not I can't only wait that. to sit in a pile of kid vomit. No, that's, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm messing around. Disney you know what I mean? Mess. Yeah. It's not six they're not gonna run the, They're not going to spray <laughs> stuff down. And, no. I no. personally like traveling with my that's whole gone. family. I'm hoping that if they have a paid Fast Pass that they also have an unpaid version um, that's just like more one. restrictive, like where you have to walk around to get them or some uh, some other or one at a time or you know yeah. they already had experience with tearing them and whatever so but like mm-hmm. i can't afford that with our whole family going of say 15 bucks a day per person that's just bullshit like that's crazy for the whole group but like adult trip yeah i'm gonna shell out for that and if it doesn't include the photo pass i think that's a miss but then again when you have a whole group Having that photo pass, that's where they get that money. It's like, oh yeah, oh, all of you paid for this photo pass. It's like, mm-hmm. so it just they'll sweeten the pot just a little bit to make you want to buy it. I know. Well, <laughs> but I, that's the that's thing right. is, I won't want to with all of us. <laughs> but I prefer they keep it'll the be current it'll system, be. but I'd pay for it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we've. I, I hope it's we've included about in that a an annual pass, personally, and that's. Oh yeah, that won't happen. happen. Mr. Florida <laughs> annual pass over here. That's <laughs> not going to ever happen. <laughs> even Platinum Plus probably won't even get it included. So No. It's too much money to We'll be see made. what they do with that. And that's one topic we didn't talk about is you know when that's going to come back. And I think that's going to be the true return to normal when they reopen Joy. those annual passes, except, especially for residents. Uh, when those show back up, um, that's when I think we'll be at that normal-ish stage. You know? Yeah. You can't even buy one for right the APs, so. that's for sure. Nope. Yep. I'm ready for it. I know you guys at home are ready for it. Thank you for tuning in to the Notcast this week. Hope you have a chance to get out to Disney in 2021. It's the 50th anniversary. See these things changing. Things are getting back to normal. Thanks again for watching. For everybody here at Not Club 33, have a great day. <laughs>